Hello, and welcome back to Modern Magic World of Zine. So, a few things to note. I thought about it and decided that I'll keep with timidity here and without anything else, because as you could see, um, months somehow tends to make the game freeze at times. And uh, fluid synth, for some reason, doesn't record correctly. So I'm not sure what is up with either of those, but Timidity overall has been performing the best, even without those glitches taken in mind. So, yeah. And this will make things a bit easier for me. <laughs> so I think in the video descriptions I'll just uh, write down the patch set that I'm using instead of the whole thing. And another thing that I figured out is that um, those things, Day of Sorcery and uh, Day of Protection. Uh, so Day of Protection actually casts not only all magic protections, but it also casts uh, heroism and uh, holy bonus and also bless on everyone. Which is really nice. And it costs 75 spell points, yeah? So it's very useful for places where you want to uh, have a lot of attack power and whatnot, and also all protections. Not quite as good for places where you only need one protection, like here, I think. Uh, but Day of Sorcery is actually pretty amazing. It costs 40 spell points, it casts all of these things, Light, Clairvoyance, Levitate. Um, but the most important thing is that it casts Power Shield. And this is interesting, because we are right now at level 12. And so we get level 12 Power Shield. If you look at the Power Shield by itself, Right now it costs 24 spell points, uh, because it's 2 spell points per level. Day of Sorcery is a static cost, uh, which means that it will always cost 40 spell points. Yet, what it does is it casts the spellcaster's level of power shield. So this is not good if you are below level 12. At level 12 it is in parity with just casting individual spells, so it's still better to use it, because it saves time. And over 12 this becomes absolutely amazing, and why would you ever cast Power Shield by itself, basically. So I think I want to actually cast it. And we get Power Shield. Yep. So, pretty cool. Now we can probably even deal with liches. And traps, too. Hmm. Well, that was actually pretty strong. How about you cast... Uh, Nature's Cure? See, so, yeah, Nature's Cure isn't actually very efficient. It cures 25 hit points. Whereas to cure wounds cost the same, but cures cures 30 hit points, yeah. So it's not quite as nice, but hey. Is there a door here with us? Oh, hey, there's something hidden here. Huh? Is there anything here? No? That's weird, or well, whatever. There's something here. Aha! Uh -huh. That's the joke. Or is it? Um, hmm. Well, I'm not too sure. Oh, now it worked. I have no idea why, but whatever. <laughs> and 
there's a potion and a grate. Don't take this, it's probably just a trap. That's an ominous looking door. But let's see what's in here. Another door. And another door. And a secret passage. Oh, book. Hypnotize. Okay. I probably will never use it, but hey. <laughs> Free spells. Oh no! Sword. Bronze broadsword. Ow. Another altar. Another 5,000 experience. So, how much is left? Quite a bit. Also, quite a bit for Scotty, interesting. Yeah, even more than for the non-elves. Okay. Good to know. Yes. Potion. And whoops, I... took it with the wrong person, but it doesn't really matter. It's another potion of enchant item. Okay. I bet all of these are. Coin. Who will steal? Oh, a King's Mega Credit. Um, let's see, do we have a list of how many of them we have? Yeah. Okay, so far we have only one of the King's Mega Credits. I think we'll need five. The sarcophagi, I'll leave for now. But I think with the Day of Protection, we can fairly easily take these out. In fact, even with the uh, Day of Sorcery, it should be quite doable. I mean, the only reason why I failed is because I didn't realize people were asleep. Uh, but I still don't really want to open them because of Curse. I want to open them all once I'm done with the place itself, so I could just get only one person cursed, and only once, and don't have it uh, affect anything. Nothing in the bed. Oh, plate armor. Hmm, I could enchant that. That's actually a pretty good idea. First, diseased, let's cure that. Your disease. Yeah, let's use those potions of enchant item. Coral plate armor. Okay, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not too sure if it's better than the. Uh, Quartz plate mail because quartz is actually pretty good. There's a puddle, another mega credit. Who's this? Yak pool. Maybe. Probably that means bad things. So I'm going to save first and then see what happens. Uh, I'll give it to bones, I guess. Pool makes you ill. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, drunk. But that actually increases personality. That's interesting. And luck too. Hmm. Oh, whatever. It's only minus one. I'm not too sure what is up with that. Why my clairvoyance says maybe. So electricity as well, eh? <laughs> Leather chainmail. Well, that is a 
pretty good choice for mages, I guess. Alright, anyway, I need to cast protection from... Uh, where is it? Protection from the elements. There it is. I need to cast protection from electricity. Alright. Another pool, another two sets of beds. No, oh, a flail. Tch, a regular one. More mega credits. Awesome. Drunk and diseased. Oh well. <laughs> Yeah, that's everything here, okay. And we have six merit credits. Nice. So let's see what's on the other side of this place. Maybe I'll also check what's there, but first... What is this? Oh. Cleric of Yak! Okay, they actually look a bit different from the Isles of Terror ones. Though not that much. Pretty much an HD rendition of that, right? Um, so let's see, cleric of yak, cleric, cleric, cleric. Cleric of yak, one thousand six hundred experience, sixty hit points, eight AC, eighteen speed, one attack for two to twenty points of damage. Electricity damage type has a ranged attack. Clerics of the Evil Temple of Yak, these spellcasters are worshippers of the undead. Clerics of Yak will always try to electrocute their opponents with lightning bolt spells. Yep. And got a belt. Accurate belt. I wonder why he was the one to take it. But okay. line up there. The alcove. Trapped potion. Ah, huh. I saw things open. A lot of things open, in fact. Uh, yeah, that's a lot of doors. And most of them are open. And there are things to further open. Huh. That's strange. Because I can just go here. Ah, nice. What kind of ropes? Hmm, pyrrhic ropes. Might be useful. Possibly. No, oh, these guys. Lots of things. Uh -huh. Well, could be better. Flaming belt. Interesting. Nothing there. What? Okay, he's no longer drunk. Well, let's just revitalize him. Mm -hmm. Good. Another table to smash. More mega credits, wow. Another enchant. Oh no, it's an elixir of restoration. I have no idea what it's for. And two more sarcophagi. Hmm. What about this? Oh! 
Oh. Well, mm, he didn't get anything broken. I guess I might as well keep that. Though, now I need to get back to town and whatnot. Uh, well, actually... Do I have any items which could heal this? I don't think so. No. I have a lot of things of elemental protection. Maybe I should use them sometime. But... Huh. There's still something there. Well, maybe I'll go and check it out for a bit. Yeah, more of those onks. Oh. And they're probably to open this place, okay. Well, in that case, let's go and heal... ...bones, and then... ...go back here and finish the place. And I... Actually, this is it that place already? Okay. Uh, do I want to put a Lloyd's Beacon here? I don't think so. Because I think, now that I know how the place is called, I should be able to teleport right down. So, of course, let's go right here. Into Night Shadow. Wait, where are you coming from? Like, free experience, so I'm not really uh, opposed to that, but still, come on. Where to? Go to Vertigo. Oh, we have plenty of gold. So I can go and heal. May we help you? Yeah, that's a lot. PM. Hmm. Well, while we're here, then, might as well do this. Where to? And ancient temple of Yak. No, oh, come on. Where to? Actually, let me look at my clue book. It does have all the uh, mirror locations listed. So let's see if there is something for the Temple of Yak. Mm, doesn't look like it. Yeah. Where to? So let's just go to Night Shadow, it's not very far. You have the proper stone. I'll open the door. Go ahead. Okay, well, since I am here, I might as well just open this door. Too. Oh. It's a storage place. No, don't open this. Probably has skeletons in it. So let's open this, yeah. Might as well take the extra experience, really. Trying to do there. 
Oh, a whistle. Whistle of jumping, okay. Fair enough. Oh wow, that's bunks, huh. Why was that maybe? It's a coin, come on. It's a good thing. Coin of first aid even, and with nine charges, no less. Another coin. Coin of sleeping. Ooh, plate armor. Regular one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll try and enchant some of those things later on then. Scale armor. Yeah, regular one too. And he is diseased. No longer. I see you there. Nothing. And another ring mail. Yeah, I will try to enchant some of those things later on. Did you survive that? Huh. More doors to go through. Short sword. Crossbow. Ring mail. Robes. Scimitar. Nothing. Hmm. Yeah, that's a lot of things. And he is once again diseased. Maybe. Nothing. Nothing. That's what I thought. No means free experience. Awesome. Nothing in between the pillars. So the only ones left are the pools, to which the clairvoyant says do not even try. Okay, fair enough. Another sarcophagus. Looks like that's about it then. Yeah. Alright, well, it is 10 p.m. Not too bad, actually. So let's try and solve that puzzle with the switches here. So this place has an unk, which is pressed. This is pressed. This is not pressed. So if I press it, that do something. No. Apparently not. If I press all of them. No. If I unpress all of them, yes. Okay. Fair enough. This uh, just an empty alcove. Okay, well, this is open, and another empty alcove. What is that for, I wonder? Oh! Oh dear! Um, hmm. Looks like another yeah glitch, but how do I get to that guy? Do I want to shoot or do I want to jump right on top of it? If I shoot, they'll make half of our people fall asleep. 
then I'll have to use uh, Awaken, which will then once again put everyone else asleep, and so on. So I want to jump on top of them. I have teleportation already, or not yet? Uh, not yet, but I do have an item, I think. Mm. Yeah, I have a jewel of teleportation. So let's use that. And I want to teleport two... Wait, one, two, three squares. Yep, a yeah, glitch. You are not a spellcaster, so just attack. Oh, well, that was easy. Awaken! And there's a sarcophagus, another potion of enchant item, and another potion of enchant item. Okay. Not sure how potions enchant items, but hey. Well, I guess it's. Well, when I think about it, it's very similar to how it works in Might and Magic 7, where you put potion on an item and suddenly it becomes hardened or something. But yeah, looks like that's everything in the place. So, what I want to do is actually to open these things. Oh, that's not a yak glitch. That's a yak master. <sighs> really? Let's see what the description is. Yak master, fifty thousand experience, one hundred and sixty hit points, twenty-two AC, thirty speed. One attack for 5 to 50 points of damage. Magic damage type. Has a ranged attack. Source of the magical power of the clerics of Yak. The Yak Master is a fearsome opponent. Since the Yak Master's attacks will kill the unlucky, your characters must face him with their luck magically boosted. Oh. Okay. Well, if we fail, we know what to do. They have 160 hit points, that's quite a lot, actually. Mm. Regular Yak Liches are... not immune to anything, it looks like, so I can use magic against them. So that is my plan. Let's see, I think I want to use an Energy Blast. Unless there's anything better than that. Which I don't think there is. Yeah. Everything else hits multiple enemies, pretty much. So, energy blast it is. Oh dear! Well, we're not winning this. <laughs> yep. Alright, well, in that case, and once again, what is up with the music? Well, anyway, in that case, I might as well just look at my quest, uh, no, to my auto mounts, look where I can get all the luck, and get back here once we drink from that. So, luck, 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 I think it's in the dark side? Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, there we go, at B4, 4, B4, 2, 2. B4, 2, 2. So... I want to put a Lloyd's Beacon here. Yeah, set here. And I will be able to get back here once I get to the Luck Fountain and once I boost everyone up. And also probably cast Day of Protection and stuff. 
But I guess until then I'll just sort everyone's inventory, possibly try and enchant some items, but I guess I'll do it on screen once I have decided on which items to enchant. And I will see you all next time. Later.